Welcome to the tour of my bioactive toad enclosure, complete with a waterfall. My name is Hunter Hauk, and I hope you enjoy it. Persephone is a two-year-old Anaxyrus woodhousey, or woodhouse's toad. This enclosure would be suitable for any member of the Anaxyrus genus and a larger size for a larger species. This is a bioactive enclosure complete with springtails, a DIY soil mix, and several live plants. On top of the soil is a layer of sphagnum moss and leaf litter. Persephone's enclosure also has an approximately one half gallon water feature with aquarium stones, a low water filter, and a piece of cork bark to lighten the current of the waterfall. From morning until evening, the waterfall turns on and off every hour on a Wi-Fi schedule. This gives Persephone the option to use the water feature with or without a current. This waterfall does a great job filtering her water. You'll notice that the water does get stained by some tannins. This occurrence is caused by Persephone's tendency to accidentally pull some leaves and soil into the pond. Moving up and left, you'll notice a custom background. This is something that I made in one afternoon. I carved a sheet of XPS foam and painted it with about five layers of drylock tinted with cement dye. The soil in this enclosure is a DIY bioactive soil mix. The main portion is a repta soil, but there are a number of other ingredients mixed in. Are you interested in a video all about how to make this mix? Comment down below. Underneath the substrate is a drainage layer. As we continue left, you'll notice a number of live plants. This one is a Dracaena fragrans jade jewel, which Persephone often hides under. There are a couple of Syngonium podophyllums as well. These grow tall without blocking too much light. They are definitely a favorite of mine for use in enclosures like this. Finally, there are a few golden pothos vines. They're nothing too unique, but they'll never fail you for a terrarium of this nature. I find that Persephone really enjoys a setup like this. She has the opportunity to dig if she wants, climb if she wants, hide if she wants, and even swim. Now, I think it's time to give her a few treats. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can enjoy even more of these videos. Whose enclosure do you want to see next on my channel? Comment down below. Thank you to each of my Patreon members for providing me with the ability to create this enclosure. If you'd like to get awesome perks, the link is in my description. I'm Hunter Hauk, and this has been my Bioactive Toad Enclosure. <laughs>